clashes in Bethlehem following the decision by U.S. President Donald Trump to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. These are the live images that we are getting to you of clashes uh, which have uh, erupted in uh, Bethlehem. Remember, this is a decision that a long expected lines was taken by U.S. President Donald Trump, the formal announcement of which took place uh, just over 12 hours ago at uh, 11.30 p.m. IST or uh, 1 uh, p.m. Uh, uh, in uh, Washington is when Donald Trump uh, made that formal declaration declaring uh, Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Many have called this the end to the peace process across West Asia. This is a decision which will have uh, far-reaching implications, not just to the region uh, restricted to West Asia, but uh, beyond as well. The clashes which have now broken out in Bethlehem after strong uh, reactions that have been coming in from across uh, the world uh, quarters. Strong reactions that have, of course, come in not just through clashes, but uh, the kind of criticism that U.S. President Donald Trump's decision has attracted. Important to highlight here, there have been warnings coming in uh, before U.S. President Donald Trump made that decision after he made calls to several world leaders indicating that he would finally take that call. There were warnings of escalated protests, of violence breaking out across West Asia. These clashes have now reached Bethlehem. Live images of the intensification of those protests taking place as police personnel continue to clash with the protesters. Let's go straight across now to Weon's associate editor, Palki Shamaupadhyay, joining us on the broadcast for more on this. Palki, there have been widespread warnings of violence, of intensification of protests after U.S. President uh, made that decision. But important to highlight here that even before he made that decision, there had been uh, uh, not just one, but several warnings uh, of violence, which, of course, is unfortunately becoming reality. Because it was uh, uh, amply clear what he's going to say and he has uh, walked the talk. Uh, previous presidents have spoken about it and Donald Trump has actually uh, decided to move the embassy. At least he's made the announcement telling the State Department to make the preparations to move the American embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. These protests on expected lines. Bethlehem is another holy city of a lot of historic significance as I'm sure our viewers uh, 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 know about. And uh, this is barely, what, nine kilometers from Jerusalem. So this is uh, very close. and. Uh, security uh, arrangements have been stepped up not just at the American Embassy in Tel Aviv uh, but uh, uh, Americans have also had a diplomatic presence, a consulate in Jerusalem so all these places have been fortified and uh, uh, the Israelis on the record interestingly Molly have said that they welcome this decision but if you, spoke, uh, if you speak to people in the security forces in Israel they see it as a headache uh, peace returned to, to this uh, region after uh, a very, very difficult period fraught with tensions and they wanted to ensure that the peace process, the talks uh, could go ahead smoothly. But uh, after this, of course, uh, it, it has, as many say, dealt a death blow to, uh, to the peace deal, the peace process that was on between Palestine and Israel.